a lot of people have a lot of trouble installing their Zoom Floppy. And I have trouble when I install it on a Windows 7 machine. So if you install this on an old Windows XP machine, it actually will work a lot better. It will work better on an XP machine and install much easier on an XP machine. So that's my tip. So here's how I did it. All right, this video, I want to show you how to use your Zoom Floppy from Box. Uh, it took less than a week to get, so let's go ahead and open it. So we have an invoice, a bunch of other stuff. Well, this doesn't look important. All right, throw that stuff away. Let's check this out. All right, let's open this up and check it out. Let's check it out. These are the ports we're going to be using. That. To plug your 1541 in. And here, put your USB in. So let's go and hook them up and then install the software. Alright, go to this website. Download the manual. And then the open CBM Zoom Floppy Dash I. 386. Zip. Unzip it. Right here. And I think we're ready to hook some stuff up. Unzip this. What we're going to do is double click the install uh, batch file here. And also the manual. It's pretty helpful. That's all you need. It'll just walk you through the steps. So let's go and hook this up. So here's a quick tip. The program installs on whatever drive you launch it from. Uh, this was a D drive. So so the open CBM is here on the D drive. If you want to use uh, a command line to add this to your path, probably could skip that. Or we can go back and do it. So let's just continue on. So we just plug this in to our USB. Get this blazing blue bright light here. Mm -hmm. And let's go and work on installing the driver. And here's Windows 7. Uh, it says the driver's not installed. Just move that over here. Alright, so after you get that error about they can't find your device, go to your control panel open device printer device manager this is your device manager of course scroll down under other and you will see your adapter right here your zoom floppy so usually you just right click on it and then don't do automatically tell them you're going to um, tell them where the driver's at And so browse to the folder where it was, or where it got installed, which... Okay, I had to search. What we're looking for is from the install folder, uh, this. This folder here, this is where the driver is going to be. So we have to direct it to this. And I could copy this folder over, or I could just leave it here. So now let's go browse towards, we're going to browse to that. It's under my C64 folder, zoom floppy, here, and here. You're going to get this warning that it's not verify. They say, you know, install the driver anyway. So we're going to do that. Let's go back over to this screen. And it took about 45 seconds. And we got this message. And our driver's been installed. And now let's do a test. 
after you have that all set up, there's a file you can run. But before I ran it, I right clicked edit. I always like to look at bash files before I run them. And I can see it runs from uh, the C drive right here. So you either change that to D or E, whatever hard drive you're using. Or instead, I just moved my files over, over to the C drive to make it easier. So after I ran uh, the run test, I get that. I get this right here. It says it has found my uh, 1541 drive. So we're going to, good to go. This took, oh, maybe five minutes or so to set up. So let's go and uh, do, do some more tests. I must forget. Uh, you also need this program just to do file transfers back and forth. And it's pretty easy to find. I found it at this web page. Just search for it. And then you go install it. But it has to be installed in the same folder as this file or I guess you could copy it over so I put it here right here I unzipped it and then it works so we are completely done less than 10 minutes from opening the box to have my hard drive and my 1541 drive so that's how simple it is. It's uh, pretty awesome. Now I'm just going to go and experiment. But watch for more of my Commodore 64 videos. I have a uh, 1541 mod I'm working on, and I'll have a video on that shortly also. So let's just test this for a uh, image here. Let's see how fast this is. Pretty fast, the bar goes over, but then it still takes about 30 more seconds to uh, show the file. I hope this video helps a few people. It seriously only took probably about 10 minutes from the time I opened the box to the time uh, we were using the stuff. Just download your files ahead of time, like I did. And It'll only take you a few minutes before your 1541 is hooked up to your computer. And again, this was with a Windows 7 computer. That's it for this video. I hope it helps somebody.